Hi there, my name is Patrick DeWalt. Um, I am a domestic violence survivor. My, I was a child of a woman who was in the Project Safe program and had gone through the entire process myself with a lot of ups and downs that changed my life and I'd like to explain kind of how that happened and how I've gotten to the place I'm at now. So um, I started off here at in Athens, Georgia about 10 years ago and I have kind of experienced all everything from o Oconee County to uh, the west side, east side, all over Athens, Georgia. And at one point in my life, we were, my mother and I were living with my stepfather. And my stepfather was a very heavy drinker. And he wasn't abusive in the normal way so much as with his fist, but very neglectful. And he neglected us as, uh, for, especially my mom, for a while and ended up kind of treating everyone without disdain, with disdain and we went without electricity for a long time and we went without a uh, fridge full of food and mostly just full of Bud Light and we just kind of had a hard time at the at some parts of the end of my mother's relationship with him and we had to eventually get out of that situation and Project Safe was the first call my mother made and they immediately swept in and took us in and helped us to get stable and and I at my at the time I was 17 17 years old which was a very big deal for a 17 year old to be living inside of a women's shelter and for that alone that that's just a really amazing situation that I that I got to be able to experience and I have a perspective of a child of domestic violence from the eyes of a grown-up basically and uh, just just to see the things that Project Safe was able to do in that short amount of time for me and my mother was uh, was miraculous so while in the shelter at Project Safe I had participated in a program called kids group which was basically a nightly program that the children would go through for to be able to help therapeutically and to help with their their needs and anything that they might be going through and that process through the child's advocate was a very important part of my life I was able to experience being able to help children for the first time and being able to learn about working with children in a happy like environment that that I, I felt like I was really making a difference in the kids lives and so after doing that I decided I deci I decided I wanted to become a teacher and Project Safe was very supportive of me in that adventure um, I spoke with the child's advocate about things I could do to kind of get into that uh, get towards that field and after that I focused my attention after after about three months or so we were out of the shelter my mother and I and we went towards uh, living life with just the two of us and during that time I focused heavily on getting scholarships to be able to uh, become an educator and work towards making making a living for myself while also being there for the kids and being able to make a difference in our community just like Project Safe makes a difference for everybody every single day so um, after that I got a full ride scholarship from uh, Piedmont College it's called the Upshaw Bentley scholarship so after getting my scholarship I was able to go to school at Piedmont it took me a while and it was very difficult and very hard, but I was able to persevere after knowing that I had so much support from Project Safe and social workers in our community and all those advocates that I had growing up. And eventually last May, I was able to graduate with a bachelor's degree in early childhood education and am now on my way to serving my community 
in Clark County School District, and uh, I couldn't be happier and more overjoyed to be able to do what I've wanted to do for a very long time and be able to give back just like I was given opportunity back then. Project SAFE helps to support our community in many different ways. Some ways we get support through programs like Dancing with the Athens Stars and Groovy Nights, which is coming up, and just things like that to help support us with uh, being able to have lots of lots of fun but helpful financial things that we could do in our community to be able to help build build the project safe that we know and love. So uh, a big part of the shelter's income comes from this thrift store and the thrift store next door, PS2. And basically these two com comp comprise 13% of Project Safe's annual revenue. So these two thrift stores really comprise quite a bit of annual income for the shelter. We have Project Safe thrift store here and we also have PS2 next door. And these two thrift stores this year alone comprised about 13% of their annual revenue for the entire shelter and the programs that they do to help transition women out of the shelter. My, I myself, I had about a three month period after we got out of the shelter where Project Safe actually helped us with rent and assistance like that, that they could help us just to be able to get ourselves stable, even though they've helped already quite a bit. So this thrift store also, we take furniture donations that really help out a lot. Uh, for me alone, I know that when I was moving out of the shelter, my mother and I received quite a bit of furniture to be able to help support us and get a sense of normalcy when we were coming out and it, it really meant a lot and uh, a lot of it came straight from this thrift store straight to our house and uh, the thrift store does that for us whenever there's donations just bring them on in and Project Safe will take them and process them and they're all they're all helpful to either the community or to the, sh the residents themselves so um, just last year alone, uh, there was 7,763 items that went to 691 residents, and that that made a big difference in their lives, as I'm sure it did mine. And just those numbers alone are pretty daunting for any shelter, but uh, Project Safe, I'm sure, handled them in such a way that it seemed very easy. <laughs> <laughs> so the idea of just having dishes in the household and things like that that can be donated to the shelter can really make a big difference for the residents coming out and building their lives. Uh, instead of eating off of paper plates and hot pockets, you know, they can actually have nice meals on beautiful glassware that and some cutlery to be able to cook their meals on a brand new stove that they might get through the shelter or through their new living situation and uh, those kind of things can really make a big difference and bring a sense of normalcy back to their lives after being through such a traumatic experience. That's just one of the many ways that this thrift store helps to provide for the shelter and you can provide for the shelter yourself by coming in and donating to the thrift store being able to come in and give your time to maybe help to volunteer your time. Almost anybody can volunteer here at the thrift store and maybe volunteer at the shelter itself in some way, it, whether it be donating food or whatever might be available for you. And also just going to the event, such as Groovy Nights or Dancing with the Athens Stars, these kind of things really do help. And this is a almost completely community-driven shelter that really relies on us as the community to come in and give back. I know myself I have gone from living in the shelter to interning at the shelter, interning here at the thrift store, volunteering throughout many different programs that I can to be able to 
say, hey, this, this shelter really means a lot to us. And uh, now I plan on giving back to the community. And uh, maybe uh, hopefully with your help and with the help of all the people in Athens, Georgia, we can be able to help grow and build. And there's many people out there that need our help. And uh, now we can, we can really make a difference in their lives. Like so many people have made a difference in mine. So uh, thank you very much. And I really hope that we can do something to be able to make a difference.